Today is all about Sandy, Utah. If you are looking at moving to Utah or relocating to the greater Salt Lake City area, chances are you've considered Sandy. So today I'm gonna take you on a tour of the city and things you need to know, what neighborhoods look like, uh, things to do in the area and more, so stay tuned. So I hear from people all the time that are relocating to the Salt Lake City area, whether it's for a job transfer or retirement or just a slower pace of life, whatever it is, people always have Sandy at the top of their list. So I want to jump into it, kind of show you the area, show you the drone footage so you can really get a feel for the area from a bird's eye view because you really can't appreciate the beauty of Sandy unless you're here in person. So first things first, Sandy is south of Salt Lake City. It's about 18 miles south of downtown or about a 25 minute drive and it covers 24 square miles. So it is one of our bigger cities in the greater Salt Lake area. And the population is about 96,000 in Sandy. And according to niche.com, the median income of a household in Sandy is just under $101,000. I know that median income can be a little bit intimidating, but I do want to point out that Sandy has a wide variety of homes, neighborhoods, as well as home pricing in Sandy. So to give you an idea, there are currently condos listed for sale in Sandy starting at $285,000. And then you have homes that go all the way up to mansions that are running at $6.8 million right now. So there is a good variety of options depending on what price range you fit into. And then to give you an idea on age of homes, there's not a lot of them, but you can find some homes that were built in the late 1800s. And then there are homes currently being built still to this day in Sandy. So since we're talking about neighborhoods and things like that, I do wanna point out one generalization to keep in mind for Sandy. And if, if you haven't been to Salt Lake City or you haven't figured it out yet, we kind of do everything off Interstate 15 that runs down the center of Salt Lake and we go east and west from there. So with Sandy, the closer you are to Interstate 15, so the further west in Sandy, because you're closer to Interstate 15 that you are, generally speaking, housing is going to be less expensive. That is where you're gonna see a lot of the homes built in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. You're gonna see a lot of the split level or multi-level homes in that area. And then as you work your way more east, the prices start to increase as you go east until you hit that mountain range with the mansions that are multi-million dollar homes. Sandy also does have horse property still, which is a big draw to equestrian lovers. And you can see the footage here off 1300 East and how big these properties are. But I also want to point out it's close to Dimple Dell, which a lot of people will take their horses and ride in these canyons with their horses as well. So it's very convenient for people that own horses. But you might be asking, what draws people to Sandy? Well, first of all, like I mentioned, the proximity to Salt Lake City, but you can look at these drone footages and just see how close you are to the mountains. Um, and that is a big draw for people. Now with that close proximity to the mountains that Sandy has, that means you have easy access to Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon, which that's where Snowbird and Brighton and all those places are for skiing, snowboarding. You can do mountain biking up there when the weather is nice. Lots of trails for hiking. People often are snowshoeing up there. Just lots of possibilities with the mountains. And you can see here that it's May and there's people at the base of the mountain that are out walking their dog and riding their bikes, going for a walk and just enjoying the May weather that we have right now. And then of course, because Sandy is such a big city, you have lots of parks. There is shopping in Sandy. You have the indoor mall. 
if you're into soccer, there is Rio Tinto Stadium, which hosts the, the Real Salt Lake, a professional soccer team. You have movie theaters, restaurants, and then of course you have an expo center in Sandy where there's tons of different shows that are happening throughout the year. They have RV shows and home shows and off-road shows, you name it, it, it's always at that expo center. There's also the large Intermountain Hospital off 1300 East in Sandy that has been newly renovated and it's beautiful. For high schools, you have Alta High School and Jordan High School for public, but then you also have a really large private school campus called Waterford School. So if schools are important in your consideration to moving to Utah, um, you know, check out Sandy. And if you're into private schools, that is a great option as well. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell. That way you're alerted each week when I drop a new video. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Sandy and learning a little bit more about the area. If you're looking at relocating to Utah, I'd love to connect with you. I help people relocate to Salt Lake City area all the time. So I am always here to help and answer any questions that you may have. But as always, make it a great day.